A single mom and an aspiring model find themselves trapped in the adult industry of Hollywood. A young lady named Ho practices her lines for a modeling gig while in her undergarments. She then sips some vodka from her bedazzled flask as she channels her inner actress. After this, she gets into a video call with Paige, her previous babysitter. Paige is now her supposed agent, and although Hope's only auditioning to be a model, she asks her to recite her lines. Before Hope can finish, her pregnant stepmother, Beth, angrily barges into the room and asks what she is doing. It turns out that she heard everything Hope said, and now she's thinking that she's having a relationship with another woman and doing lewd activities on the internet. She also discovers that she's been drinking alcohol. As Hope continues to cuss and retaliate, Beth decides to alert the young woman's father of her vices. That night, Beth tries to put Hope in a hot seat, but her father doesn't want to deal with her, so he lets the problem pass. At midnight, Hope receives a text from someone confirming that her ticket has been secured. She then escapes through her window and runs to the streets. The following morning, she arrives in Hollywood and spends the day wandering around. Meanwhile, a dancer known as Baby Girl gets fired from her job for getting into a fight with her co-worker. She pleads with the bouncers to at least let her finish her shift because she needs to feed her daughter and pay her rent. However, she's denied, so she's left with no choice but to leave. After after this, she picks up her daughter, Angel, from a seamstress named Lupe, who's been babysitting her. She tries to pay the woman, but she refuses and lets her keep the money instead. Baby girl thanks her for this, then she heads home with Angel. As she enters their compound, she passes by Paige and her friends, but they don't seem to be acquainted. Then, as baby girl and Angel get into their room, the landlord comes knocking on their door, demanding their overdue rent. He then threatens to kick them out if they fail to pay him tomorrow. Meanwhile, Hope tries calling Paige as she waits at their meetup location. Elsewhere, Paige talks to her friend Destiny, who's tired and stressed over supporting her mom. Destiny starts feeling down about herself, but Paige boosts her spirit and showers her with compliments. Just then, Paige receives a text from Hope, and she smiles as she shows the young lady's photo to her friend. Meanwhile, baby girl leaves Angel to Lupe again, and she tells her that she might leave the kid overnight. Lupe only sighs and takes Angel. Angel in. Elsewhere, Paige picks up Hope and takes her to an apartment, where Destiny is busy dancing for a client. After Destiny sends him home, she joins Paige in teaching Hope how to dance seductively. Hope then performs on the pole, and Paige takes a video of her and sends it to her photographer friends. As they do all these, they also indulge in a lot of alcohol. Just then, Hope says that she wants to get her nose pierced like Paige, but the ladies reply that she should look as young as possible because many modeling agents love that. Paige then adds that there are a lot of creepers in LA. And hearing this, Hope recalls Destiny's client who shot her a malicious look, which causes her to feel sick. Elsewhere, baby girl welcomes an old man into her room. She asks him to pay first, then she tearfully allows him to do anything he wants. After this, she mindlessly roams around the city, looking for more customers. The next morning, baby girl goes to Lupe, but she learns that Angel is still asleep. Lupe then goes on to say that she saw how she welcomed different men into her room last night, and she complains that this is unsafe for the child. This offends baby girl, and she claims that she would never put Angel at risk. She then adds that she wants a bright future for her daughter. However, Lupe only comments that Angel needs a father. Meanwhile, Hope wakes up with a hangover, but Paige isn't even affected. Hope then checks her phone, and she finds no missed calls or messages from her dad. Seeing how upset she is, Paige asks her to come with her on a hike. Later, the two reach the top of the Hollywood sign, and Hope starts talking about how lonely her life is. She also shares how she's been grieving for her late mother, and she even wants to join her on the other side. However, Paige reassures her that she'll take care of her now. Just then, she stares into Hope's eyes and comments about how pretty she is. She then attempts to dive in for a kiss, but Hope swerves away. Paige then asks what's wrong, as they had already done this when she was still watching Hope while her parents were away. Hope replies that she was just confused back then 
Jin and is not even sure who she is right now. However, Paige insists that there's a special bond between them and reassures her that no one will judge her. She then pulls Hope closer, and they end up kissing. That night, they stroll through the streets of LA and drown themselves in alcohol. After this, Paige touches the intoxicated Hope in a secluded alley. The following day, Paige and Destiny happen to pay a visit to Destiny's mom. Just then, baby girl passes by, and they recruit her for their modeling agency. Later that day, Hope poses for the camera while wearing some revealing clothing. Destiny then tells her to pose with her partially covered chest, which is too daunting for her. This angers Destiny, so she starts talking about how Hope isn't fit for the job. This pressures Hope, so she does as she's told. However, before she can pose, she suddenly asks to go to the bathroom, although this is actually an excuse for her to get some fresh air. Just then, another model follows her, and she can't help but notice how Hope is being pressured into doing certain things. She then says that the industry is not for everyone, but Hope reassures the model that she is fine. As they continue to talk, Hope learns that Destiny and Paige run a website that offers webcamming and escorting services. Before the model leaves, she gives Hope her number, saying that she should contact her in case she needs someone to talk to. Hope then returns to the studio, where she sees baby girl posing fiercely for the camera. Paige and Destiny are impressed by this, but they tell her to stop her cheap side hustles because she should know her worth. This offends her because they don't know what it's like to raise a child alone. The following day, baby girl happily gives Lupe some money, and she claims that everything is about to change. Just then, Lupe gets emotional and starts talking about how blessed baby girl is to have a child. Back then, her husband left her because she was barren. She then adds that life can be hard, but she has to cherish Angel. This makes baby girl shed a tear, but she reassures Lupe that she'll never be negligent to her daughter because she knows what it feels like to have no one. Elsewhere, Paige and Destiny start uploading Hope's and baby girl's photos on their website. The creepers then start lining up to meet Hope, and this delights the ladies. Moments later, Paige tells Hope that a guy is willing to pay her $500 for a massage. She then convinces her to take it because she needs to pay for her photo shoot, which surprises Hope because she didn't know she had to pay for that. However, Paige manipulates her into thinking she must invest in her modeling portfolio. That night, an older man joins Hope in a room, and he gets delighted after hearing that she is inexperienced. Hope shrugs this off and starts massaging him, but he only pins her to the bed and reassures her that everything will be fine. After they're done, Hope cries in the shower while trying to scrub away the disgust she feels inside. Elsewhere, baby girl and Angel are at home and about to watch a movie while eating pizza. However, Destiny and Paige call the mother and tell her that a guy and his chick are willing to pay her $500 for a night together. They also reassure her that they'll tip her well, and with this, baby girl ends up taking the gig. However, the customers arrive sooner than expected, and she doesn't get to bring Angel to Lupe. Because of this, she tells the child to stay locked up in a room until she lets her out. When Angel agrees, the woman lets her customers inside. While she's busy, Angel finds her collection of tiny alcohol bottles, which she calls her medicine. The following morning, baby girl discovers that Angel is dancing while pretending to drink. Concerned, she immediately takes her home. Meanwhile, Paige and Hope accompany Destiny to her loyal customer's pool house. However, the old man seems more interested in Hope's youthful looks, which annoys Destiny and Paige. Just then, the man approaches Hope in the pool and suddenly tells her to copulate with him. Paige tells her to go, adding that she needs to start paying her part of the rent. With no choice, Hope does as she's told. Before she does, she holds her breath underwater as if conditioning herself that she'll be fine. That night, Hope looks for her phone, wanting to contact her dad. Unbeknownst to her, Destiny and Paige got rid of it. Meanwhile, Paige plays blind and offers her phone, but it struggles to get a signal, which results in Hope being unable to use it. Eager to go home, she then asks Paige for her $500, but she replies that they already used it to pay for their shoot. Paige realizes that Hope wants to leave. Because of this, she tells her that her father used to take advantage of her back when she worked for them, which changes Hope's plans of going home. The following day, baby girl gets ready for another photo shoot, but she tells Paige and Destiny that she'll be quitting after it. She also adds that she wants to straighten her life out to be a good influence on Angel. However, the ladies refuse her resignation and only give her more money instead of letting her go. After the shoot, many men gather at the studio, inviting baby girl to drink with them. Although she hesitates, she joins them and ends up intoxicated. 
After this, the group's supposed leader tells the men that it's game time. This concerns the woman, and she gets even more shocked when the man tells her that she'll be in a film. It turns out that they intoxicated her to use her for a video, and having no energy to fight back, the woman falls victim to the men. The next morning, she runs directly to Lupe and sobs while desperately asking for help. Lupe immediately embraces her, which ultimately drives baby girl to break down in tears. Later, the kind woman reassures her that she'll always be there for her and Angel. For a few days, baby girl only spends time with Angel and doesn't go to work. But when she sees the eviction notice on her door, she begins having second thoughts. That night, Paige gives Hope a new dress in preparation for a party. She also gives her a pill, saying that it'll make her confident. While Hope gets dressed in the bathroom, baby girl calls the ladies, asking if she could have another gig. Meanwhile, Hope finds a spare phone, so she tries calling her dad with it. However, she finds that he's at a party and is not even concerned that she's missing. Hope ends up dropping the call, hides the phone, and takes the pill. Later, she joins Paige and Destiny, and she tells them to pierce her nose. The ladies gladly do it for her, and Hope is thrilled to look like them. Meanwhile, baby girl gets into a small argument with Angel after she refuses to be left alone for the night. Angry, baby girl cusses at Angel, but she apologizes and promises that it'll all be over soon. She also adds that she'll get them a house with a big backyard, and they'll get a puppy that she always wanted. After this, Paige and Destiny pick her up, and together they head to the party. The ladies get to the venue already drunk, and despite that, baby girl can sense that something is off. She tries telling Hope, but she only laughs at her. Just then, Destiny and Paige tell them that their room is ready, but instead of going with them, baby girl excuses herself to go to the bathroom. However, she's actually using this opportunity to escape. Meanwhile, Paige gives Hope more pills, and this knocks her out. While she is unconscious, Paige and Destiny receive money from one of their customers. Then they welcome a group of men into the room. The men then take turns with Hope while one of them films everything. Elsewhere, the distraught baby girl sits at the side of the road, not knowing that Angel is having a nightmare back at home. Shortly after, Angel leaves the room in search of her mom, but the landlord sees her, and he reports to the police that she's roaming his property by herself. Not long after, the police take Angel for the meantime. Baby girl suddenly arrives in the area, and she fights the officer. He calms her down and gives her a number to call in the morning, but they don't give Angel back to her. As the police car drives away, baby girl can only break down. Meanwhile, Paige and Destiny take Hope home, who's bleeding from what transpired. After she recovers, she discovers what the ladies did to her after she finds the video in one of their group chats. Later, Hope calls the model whom she met at the photo shoot, who then urges her to file a police report against Paige and Destiny. Soon, a caseworker arrives at Baby Girl's house. She finds that the place is a mess and it's not an ideal environment for raising a child. With this, the caseworker tells Baby Girl that Angel is thriving in her new home, and her new family even has a dog. Meanwhile, Hope confronts Paige about the video, then threatens to call the cops. When Paige remains unbothered, Hope taunts her about her past, where Paige's father took advantage of her, and how she's dubbed as a deviant back in her town. This triggers Paige, but Hope doesn't care because she's set on informing the authorities. However, Paige shows Hope her audition video, where she says she likes being used. This completely shifts Hope's plans, as Paige plans to use this to wash her hands clean. Hope realizes that calling the cops isn't an option anymore, so she decides to leave. She ends up living with the model that she met at the photo shoot, and together, they work as dancers in a club, which she thinks is better than copulating with men. Meanwhile, Paige and Destiny welcome a new lady into their group, and she's just as innocent and naive as Hope was. Elsewhere, Baby Girl takes one last look at Angel's drawings, then leaves her apartment for good. As she dances in her newfound job, Hope also gets her debut in another club, and she's now known as a fierce dancer named Chastity. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.